Here on campus, we have a nice little grove of four Nyssa sylvatica, black gum, or tupelo. Some of the best honey in the world is made from this tree. The old Van Morrison song, Sweet as Tupelo Honey. You'll see the buds are also imbricate and hairy. They have spurs as well, these short little stubs that don't ex expand much from year to year. Buds are hairy. This is Sylvatica bark. Another coarsely ridged, furrowed. One feature I see about this tree may not be applicable to all of them, but the branches seem to come out of the trunk at something approximate, approximating a 90 degree angle. See this one over here, they're a little more upright than 90, but This is native up and down the East Coast. It's common in New Jersey. Its real claim to fame is the bright scarlet red fall color. There are some named selections of it that are worth looking for if you want to plant one, give you better quality of fall color and growth habit. The branches are, buds are alternate. Small nondescript flowers are followed by blue-black droops and clusters of two or three in the fall. One of the best things about this, is this tree is the um, bright screaming red fall color. Uh, in this picture you see there's one little branch that is uh, showing some premature color along with the normal foliage. I don't know how many of you have heard the Van Morrison song with the line, she's as sweet as Tupelo honey. This honey is considered among the very best and it has a very unique feature in that it doesn't turn to sugar. You can keep this for years and it doesn't crystallize.